There's nothing wrong with using mortar inside your core, um, but what we've always tried to do is we've used, in the core, we've used slip or really, really thin mortar to try not to create spaces between the bricks. You know, when you build the, the rocket stove cores, you almost never have a, a visible joint, right? Um, you just put some stuff in there. Um, and what I've come to realize is that is that we're not really... Um, you know, the core is kind of locked together through the nature of its stacking function. There's weight on these side pieces. These can't fall out. The mortar isn't really doing much for us. It might be filling some little imperfections in those IFBs. Um, but yeah, Pete, I think, I think I've come around just to, to the, to the point of, of feeling like it's probably not doing much for us. I don't know that there's any value in putting mortar in the core bricks. Um, I, I, I just, you know, the idea was maybe we're going to seal some little imperfections in there, but we're talking with the IFBs, we're talking, you know, two and a half inch thick, um, at the, you know, on their faces where they're mating. It's a lot of, a, a lot of distance for there to be an open gap. And on the other part of that is, is, you know, the, if there are holes in them, they should be going to the outside of the core. It should be filled with mortar or mortared to the external skin or, you know, there should be all sealed from the outside anyways, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So unless you had a real obvious problem, like you're fitting your core together and maybe like the center, um, you know, divider has a big gap in it, you, you would want to fill that gap. But just as a general rule, I would say there's no reason to really stick them together with mortar. No, you certainly can. You're not going to hurt it by doing that. But I've just... This is because I actually just got a question via email from a, a dear friend um, day before yesterday, and he is building his second or third stove um, with a Walker riserless core. And he emailed me and said, Hey, Matt, I, I seemed like last time we mortared the core together, but, you know, I don't really see why we did that. It didn't really... We didn't put any space in between the bricks, and at the end of the day, when I took it all apart, the mortar was just kind of gone or not sticking them together anyways. Well, what is it there for? And I was like, yeah, you know, if we're building the core as a core and it's just inside and sealed with, within the stove, I don't know that there's really much reason for mortar between those bricks. Um, and I do think that something like a high temp mortar is going to make more problems than it's going to solve, to be honest, because you will get different expansion and contraction rates and you will get cracks and things like that. So, um...